Littlest pet shop. We don't sell pets. We cater to them. May I? Oh, my word, that's terrible. Of course, we'll miss him at the day camp today. Who will we miss? Oh, I agree. It's no fun being sick. Sick? Who's oh, sick? But what's most important is that Sunil feels better. Oh, no! Sunil sick! <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, I've got a secret! Who wants to hear it? Oh, I thought you weren't supposed to tell secrets. What's the fun in that? Sunil is sick. Cereal is lick. Cereal smells ick. Cereal McDrick. Okay, what did I say? Cereal McFlip. Cereal McFlip? Uh, who's Cereal McFlip? Is he a new pet here? Oh, why am I always the last to know? You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. You find a place you never knew where you're happy to. Just be you. We can be yeah. who we want to be. Yeah. At Littlest Pet Shop, you and me. We can be yeah. who we want to be. Yeah. At Littlest Pet Shop, you and me. Oh, of course. I understand. You don't want to leave Sunil alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd be happy to help you find a sitter. Just a minute. Blythe, got a sec? Sure, Mrs. Twombly. What's up? Sunil is too sick to come to day camp today, and his owners need someone to stay with him. Mrs. Twombly, you had me at... Sunil is too sick to come to day camp today, and his owners need someone to stay with him. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful! She'd love to. Russell, the message wasn't Cyril McFlip. The message was, Sunil is sick! Oh! I hate telephone. So, Sunil's not coming to camp today? <sighs> Guess not. Ah, I'll miss him. We all will. But it's no secret who this is going to be hardest on. Vinny. Vinny. Remember the last time Sunil didn't come in for the day? Ah! Sunil's not coming in today! I knew I shouldn't have told them. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here comes Goshzilla now. Okay, everybody. We don't want to upset Vinny, so let's break the news to him gently. Hey, day campers. Hey, what do you want to do today? Sunil is sick! Run away! <laughs> that wasn't exactly cushioning the blow, Minka. Sorry! So, we're playing hide-and-seek. Uh, Vinny, did you just hear Minka say that Sunil is sick? Eh, yeah, I heard her. Don't you care? Not really. Hey, anybody's owner watch any good TV last night? Blythe, don't forget the mango. Oh, and the cold compresses for my aching head. Anything for my favorite patient. Oh, thank you. Oh, it feels much better. <laughs> mm. Yum. Is there anything else you need, Sunil? Actually, my pillows do feel a little flat. Do you think you could fluff them up for me? Sure. <coughs> so, what do you think made you sick? Did you catch something from someone? If by someone you mean Vinny, then no. I most certainly did not catch it from him. He would never give me anything. Okay, then. I actually wasn't thinking specifically about Vinny. Vinny this, Vinny that! Could you please stop talking about Vinny already? <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, well, who's up for more mango? Anything is better than talking about Vinny. Something definitely happened between Sunil and Vinny. I 
I can't believe Finny's not upset. He's just pretending to be okay. It's only a matter of time before Vinny realizes he's not gonna see Sunil today. And when it finally sinks in, trust me, he'll go bonkers. Are you saying he's just a ticking time bomb waiting to explode? That's exactly what I'm saying. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> Cap, don't do that! Is there anything we can do? Yes, we'll just keep bringing up Sunil. Talking about him will help Vinny accept the fact that Sunil's not coming in. What's up? Ah! Oh, hi, Vinny. We were just about to play a new game. Oh, great. What is it? It goes like this. Whoever is holding the mouse has to say what their favorite thing about Sunil is. <laughs> Go! I love that Sunil does magic. I love Sunil's laugh. I love Sunil's furry face. Oh, Sunil, Sunil, Sunil! Can we please stop talking about Sunil? Okay, something definitely happened between those two. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of this mystery. It's Mango Madness! <laughs> Again! You know who else loves mangoes? I have a clue. Vinny. <laughs> Did you say the name of the person we agreed not to talk about? You mean Vinny? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm having a coughing fit because, as you know, I'm very sick. <laughs> Here, a drink of water might help. <laughs> Much better. You know what this reminds me of? Careful. That time you accidentally swallowed some bubble bath. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Oh, there you, there you go. Keep, keep coughing. Yeah, good, good, oh. good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're just trying to get me to think about you know who. You mean Vinny? Oh, oh, my stomach. I'm in agony. Oh, come on, Sunil. This is getting silly. Uh, I, I think I am feeling dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Must get peanuts. It's the only thing that will stop the spinning. Oh, excuse me. I didn't see you there. Sunil. You're talking to a couch leg. Oh, I know. I'm delirious. If I don't get peanuts soon... <sighs> I'll get them. And take your time. The longer she's gone, the less I'll have to hear about him. Dad, it's a Found it! Now I'm ready to get to the bottom of what happened between Vinny and Sunil. If you want to get to the bottom of things, why don't you just ask me what happened? Oh, what happened? Nothing. Well, you leave me no choice but to do some detective work. Ooh, what's your detective name? I know. How about Cyril McFlip? Cyril McFlip? By Jove, I think she's got it. I'm Cyril McFlip, and I'm here to discover How two best friends fell out with each other Before today, they were thick as thieves Spending all their time watching scary movies But now we know there's something wrong And that is why I'm singing this song Cyril McFlip Vinny both wanted to live in this house, which was mostly haunted. Oh, there's a ghost! Oh, 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 the book. Or maybe they both had a secret desire to ride a ferocious saber-toothed tiger. Ah! You sit by the table. No, I want to be in the back. For sure is that Sunil and Vinny are no longer speaking, and that is a pity. Maybe they argued over who was better at eating those spicy jalapeno peppers. <laughs> when 
two friends fight, it's such a shame. It's hard to know just who's to blame. Maybe they fought over who was taller or who could hold their breath for longer. It's late. Time to get cracking. Everyone, spread out and search for clues. What's this? Mr. McFlip, aren't you going to impersonate me? Don't you mean interrogate you? No, I mean grill me with a lot of questions under a hot light until I can't take it anymore and spill the beans. Capital idea! <clears throat> when was the last time you and Sunil were together, hmm? What's the use? Vinny's not talking. But this was his idea. It was my idea to question me, but I never said I'd talk. Oops. Hmm. We'll see about that. <gasps> Mango! That's me. And you know who's favorite. The mango's all yours. If you spill the beans. <laughs> Fine! You broke me! <laughs> that worked better than I thought it would. <clears throat> all right, Vinny, spill. It all started when Sunil practically begged me to dance for him. I'd do anything for my buddy pal, so naturally, I started to dance. But I was only dancing for what seemed like the shortest time before Sunil lost interest. So I decided to dance even harder. <laughs> but still, he walked away. I can see that he's now practicing his magic, but I think that's okay. I'll still dance for him because he's my pal, and he practically begged me to dance for him. So I dance. I was transported to a Broadway stage. It was my time to shine. I was dancing better than ever. I could tell that everyone wanted me to keep going. I was flying high, and before I knew what was happening, You and your incessant dancing! <sighs> so, even if Sunil weren't sick, you wouldn't speak to him if he was here, because you're mad at him for yelling at you. Listen, Cyril, Sunil's not sick, and I'm not mad at him for yelling at me. I'm mad at him for something else. And if you get me another slice of yummy mango, I'll tell you why. Here you are, Sunil. Finely chopped nuts. But not too finely. Right. Um, you know, Sunil, now that I'm looking at you up close, you are so not looking good. See for yourself. Your illness definitely seems to be getting worse. It is? Yes. I think you might need to be quarantined for life. Oh, whew, that's a relief. Wait, what does quarantined mean? It means that you'll never be able to return to the day camp again. Never ever? Never, ever. Uh, you know, for some reason, I don't feel that sick anymore. I'm feeling fit as a fiddle. <laughs> I think I'm going to make a full recovery. <laughs> it's a miracle. Let's go tell the pets that you're feeling better and you're coming back. Does everyone include Vinny? Sunil, tell me the truth. What happened between you two? Why don't you want to see him? Uh, okay, fine. It all started yesterday. I was getting ready to try out my newest magic trick when... Hey, 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 Sunil! You want to see the most incredible dance moves? Well, I was just about to try a new magic trick which I've been preparing for weeks now. Uh, watch me! Watch me! Watch me! Of course, my good friend. Anything for you. But he didn't just dance. He kept asking me if I was watching him. Are you watching me, Sunil? Sunil? Like a hawk, my best bud. You are a fabulous dancer. Sunil! Sunil! Hey, are you still watching me? Yes, I would watch you forever. Closest chum. Sunil, how about now? Are you watching me now? Yes, though you have asked me several times, I continue to watch. 
Hey, hey, hey! Are you still watching me? Aha. Uh -huh. Truth is, I just really wanted to try out my new trick. And even though I knew how important it was to Vinia, I guess I stopped watching him. Sunil, why aren't you watching me? Vinny was so mad that I wasn't watching him that he crashed into my table on purpose. So that's why you're not talking to Vinny? Because he crashed into your table? No, Vinny has crashed into my table hundreds of times. Between you and me, he's not the best dancer. It wasn't until he accused me of stealing his tap shoes that things got ugly. It was after I finally got my table back together. Sunil's new magic trick, take two! Hold it right there, pal! What have you done with my tap shoes? Oh, uh, absolutely nothing, my friend. Don't give me that. Just admit it. You're an evil sorcerer, and you made my tap shoes disappear with your dark magic. <laughs> An evil wizard? Get out of here! I mean it. Please get out of here. Anyway, why would I want to get rid of your tap shoes? Revenge! You were mad at me for knocking over your dumb table, so you conjured up a spell as payback. Eh, sorry, that is incorrect. I am not a sorcerer, I am a magician, and I don't appreciate being accused of disappearing your tap shoes. Even though it does sound like a great trick. Well, how would you feel if I broke your magic wand? Uh, not very good. So you see, Blythe, I'm sure you can understand why I will never speak to Vinny again, ever! Whoa, major drama. This is my last mango slice, Vinny. Enjoy. Now, will you please finish your story? <clears throat> All right. But I warn you, it does not have a happy ending. <gasps> oh, I need a break. <sighs> Gotta dance! That's funny. I'm tap dancing, but I don't hear any tappity taps. My tap shoes are gone! I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find them. So I innocently asked my best pal if he's seen my tap shoes. Who cares about your shoes? I'm practicing my new important magic trick. Okay, sorry to bother you. Hey, you want any help? Maybe I could wave your magic wand. But when I picked it up, it was already broken. You broke my wand! I can't believe you would do something like this! So not only did he disappear my tap shoes, but he also accuses me of breaking his magic wand. And that's why I'll never speak to Sunil again. Ever. Whoa. Major drama. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that you totally made the right choice by severing ties with Vinny. This is a trick, right? You're the one who does the tricks. Although, now that Vinny broke your magic wand, maybe not. Who needs him, right? And if from now on, you have to watch scary movies all by yourself, then that's the way it goes. I'm going to have to watch scary movies all by myself? Can't you watch them with me? Uh-uh. No way! They are much too scary for me, but I'm sure you can handle it. Oh, and you're gonna be able to test it out. <laughs> Attack of the Giant Mutant Garden Slugs is coming on later. Ooh. Poor Vinny. I hate to see him like this. You mean alone? Yes, alone, without his best friend. I just hope Sunil doesn't stay away forever. Stay away forever? I might never see Sunil again? Welcome back, mind traveler, from wherever you just were. I was just thinking about what life would be like without Vinny. Blythe, I have a confession. I got 
it. Gather round, everyone, while the greatest detective in the world, Cyril McFlip, amazes you. For I have solved the mystery of the two best friends who are no more. This is what really happened between Vinny and Sunil. Yesterday was a typical day here at the camp. As Sunil and Vinny were both doing what they loved, and happily so quite. But inevitably, our Vinny became overzealous and accidentally crashed into Sunil's magic table. Later, after a well-deserved break, Gotta dance! He discovered his tap shoes were gone. My tap shoes are gone! Vinny thought that Sunil was angry with him for crashing into his table. He also thought that meant that Sunil must have disappeared his shoes. The two friends begin to quarrel and... Vinny broke Sunil's wand. He broke this magic wand. <gasps> it's a trick wand. You mean I didn't break it. Russell's right. It is a trick wand. I'm sorry for letting you think you broke it, Vinny. Well, I'm glad it's not broken, but I'm still mad about my missing tap shoes. Look, everybody! Tap hands! Mika, why do you have my tap shoes? Oh, remember that time you said I could borrow them? Hey, Vinny, do you think someday, probably far in the future, I could borrow those tap shoes without asking? Sure. You weren't using them while you were asleep, so I borrowed them. I did not see that coming. Sunil, I'm sorry I accused you of taking my shoes. Big hug? Oh, it's okay, pal. I'm sorry, too. Oh, let's never be apart again. Never, ever, ever. Blythe, it's time for Vinny to go. Uh, see you tomorrow, pal. See you tomorrow.